I didn't get too many views on the first part that I did. This is the second part of Dead Like Me, the series. Is it good? Spoilers, part two. I'm all clan. If you enjoy my content, please hit the subscribe button, like button also. Share with your friends who don't mind. Also, please comment, ask me a question, or comment in general. I'll do my best to answer them. Also, if you don't mind, hit the notification bell down below, and you will be notified when I go live or upload another video. Got my notes. So, let's get started. Um, I can't remember if... I don't think I explained how the characters on the show do their reaping. Um, they have to touch the person. And then they die, and then their soul gets taken out, and they're reaped. But they have to touch them first. Alright, the last part I left off was, um, George had arrived at Mason's house, and George, and Daisy was there. Um, George is the, like, the main character, and she's a reaper, and so is Mason, and so is Daisy. Um, and this house belonged to Mason, and he's given it to George and Daisy, to live in um and then George took her bike out for a ride and she found JD which JD was a dog that her parents um uh her parents and Reggie had which Reggie is her sister and then the dog went missing uh so George found JD George took JD back to her parents house and they all greeted JD George wants to go back to happy time and ask for her job back. Happy Time is the office place where she works at. So George did just that. And Dolores, her boss, said no because you left. Dolores loves cats and has one. But the cat is having medical problems. And is very old and sick. Um, George helps her out by taking Dolores and her cat to the vet. The doctor soon said that the cat was doing better. Dolores took George, told George that she would see her on Monday. So George got her job back for helping her out at the vet. Um, there was this, uh, at, at the vet, there was this elderly man who had a rabbit. And the doctor came out and said that he couldn't find anything wrong with the rabbit. And a boy was there. And he asked about the rabbit and asked if he could touch the rabbit and so the boy touched the rabbit and the boy is a reaper and George saw this and soon confronted the boy outside the vet and in the in the world and by Dolores and her co-workers and all that she she's known by the name Millie I can't remember if I said that in my last video or not, but her she goes by Millie, even though her name is actually George when she was alive, but now she's a reaper and she's undead. George, um, so the boy knew uh, that her that she was not George, um, that she was not Millie. Uh, he knew George's real name wasn't Millie, and he asked how she died, and her, her real name. George told him that she died from a space station toilet seat and her name was George. George's parents and Reggie have been preparing to put George's body to rest. Uh, they're going, I think, they, uh, I think they've been going to a more, no, I can't remember if they, I can't remember exactly how it went. George's parents and Reggie were at a graveyard and George was put to rest. Uh, George's dad was there but he had walked off. George's mom had said some words. She said that she was sorry and she loved George. Um, they they got into arguments all the time. George barely even talked to her mother. Reggie wanted her mom to to walk away uh, so she could talk to George and say some words. But Reggie soon changed her mind and said that her mom could come back. She... Reggie said that she missed George probably more than her mom does. Reggie had a pic of her and George. Um, uh, where's more notes? Of them fishing. And she placed it on the grave. And, the, I mean, there was more, like, 
talking, but I took like certain moments out of certain episodes, and I'm talking about those. And this is all from season one, so is part one. As soon as I get to part all of season all of season one, I'm trying to say. And as soon as I get to season two, I'll say that's the end of season one. Okay, Rube, Roxy, Mason, George, and Daisy were all at the grave. And we're getting ready to drink some champagne. Rube had brought it. Well, it's a good day to be a reaper, said Mason. And Mason is a reaper. Daisy is a reaper. Roxy is a reaper. And Rube is also a reaper. And he's like the head guy. I, that's what I'm calling him. He's like the head guy over all of them. Um, here is to George dead like me, said Mason. George had never drank champagne before. She had lots of it and more and more. And a, the grave links were there. These, they're the creatures that set up the death situations for people to die. And that's just what they do. And nobody can, can see the grave links except for reapers. But there was one situation where a human saw a grave link. Uh, the grave links um, had taken a day off, took a break, so nobody died that day. And so the Reapers were on vacation. But I can't remember exactly where that took place in. But this is the end of season one, but it ended with them at the graveyard. I can't remember exactly where the Grey Links took a, a vacation. I can't remember what episode that was, but I'm going to be moving on to Season 2 now. All my notes are a mess, so I'm doing the best that I can. This is Season 2 of Dead Like Me. So, I got the notes for that one, too. Um, inside the restaurant, and they, they all meet at the restaurant called Durr the Waffle House. Um, Daisy, Mason, and George are all sitting together in a booth. Daisy says that she had died in a fire. Uh, Daisy asked George if she had ever had a boyfriend or slept with him. George said no. Mason gets compliments from George and Daisy. Your breath is better, said George. Your eyes look better, said Daisy. And you don't have... As much drool around your mouth, said George. It's nice. Mason uh, loves to drink a lot and isn't now. Uh, he gets into drugs. He gets into mischief of all kinds of stuff. Um, so that's why uh, those compliments were said. But am I pretty, asked, Jason, asked Mason. Uh, you are... You make my heart flutter, lol. See, now, you are... Okay, but am I pretty as Mason? I see it's my notes are messed up. Um, you are a darling, said Rube. And of course he's joking. You make my heart flutter, lol. <laughs> uh, Rube passed them all out. Sticky notes, death appointments have begun. So the sticky notes have the death, the time... The date and the person's name, and they give they're giving them all by Rube. Rube passes them out to everybody. Roxy showed up and got one also. Let's see, I can only go for about 24, 25 minutes, and I have to end this video. Uh, the deaths would be at at the farmers market. George and Daisy took took off. George talked about playing tag back if she George talked about playing tag back if she ta but if she tags someone they'll be dead. Dark humor for sure. This show has a lot of dark humor. Some workers were there working with chemicals down in a manhole. George touched two, two people. One of them was a woman who had soul flowers and a man Close by, in the close by the manhole, had a cigarette and a new uh, paper. He had dropped the cigarette. 
A grave link picked up the cigarette, smoked it, and coughed. Soon dropped the cigarette down the manhole, and a fire started, and then an explosion. It killed the people who were supposed to die. Okay, and at George's parents' house, Reggie is home for the summer reading books. George's mom came home from work calling for Reggie. She had asked Reggie why she was, wasn't was out with friends. Reggie did have did hand gestures to show her mom that her friends smoke, and that's why she is staying at home and not with them. George was outside her parents' house. She was still coming by, but but left on her bike. George was back at work and had to help D Dolores' nephew out, train him. George's parents were having marriage problems and were having counseling done. George, was feeling, George has feelings for Dolores' nephew, but he isn't very smart at all. He is pretty dumb. Uh, he has feelings for George also. They want to go out on a date together. It sounds like George's parents. See, all my notes are all jumbled together. Uh, so, we're going back to George's parents. It sounds like George's parents uh, don't want to be married anymore. They're in the car talking and arguing. George was doing some paperwork with the copying machine back at work and got her finger cut off completely. But since she is a reaper, she healed. And Dolores' nephew picked her up because she was feeling kind of woozy and carried her off. And after she had said that she wasn't feeling well, um, so he was going to go get her some water and picked her up. George flicked a woman off with that finger and it was on backwards and she had to flip it back around. It was so cool. The woman that she was flicking off, uh, the woman that was hitting on Dol Dolores' nephew and George was getting back at her. Because, um, so, to, George was flicking this woman off because she was flirting with George's nephew and George really likes his, her nephew. So she was flicking this other woman off. Uh, and it was, it was, it was pretty funny. Mason, Mason and Rube were hired for clown, for clowns for a birthday party. Mason had to dress up like a clown. He had made a naughty balloon for a kid. It was messed up. Let's just say uh, the balloon looked like a hot dog without a bun and two blue paws attached to it. You got the idea, I hope. Um, it, was, it was messed up of Mason to do that. Um, the Loris' nephew got George some water, and she kissed him, and he kissed her back. Dolores saw this and walked off. She warned George earlier, uh, earlier that day, that you can't have relationships at the office because they don't work. Dolores gives George a promotion, and now George will get paid more. But Dolores tells her not to let her down and watch out with her nephew. George's parents sit down with Reggie and she finds out that her mom and dad want to separate. They get into an argument and George's mom tells da tells her dad to get out of the house and leave. George and Dolores's nephew George and Dolores's nephew talk and George tells him that it isn't going to work out. Roxy also got a promotion, so she went from an officer to a cop now. Rube saw that George was upset about something. She, uh, about, okay, George. Rube saw that George was upset about something. She was upset about Dolores' nephew situation. Rube cares for George and calls her peanut a whole lot. He told her not to take the promotion that Dolores gave her, her, but she said that she is taking it. And he called her Pina, and George said, don't call me that. She got up and left. Rue feels like George is taking on too much. Mason had to reap the father, father of the kid. 
at the party when he was playing as a when he was dressed up as a clown. And the party was for a little girl. So he had to reap the father of the little girl. And because Mason and let's say the father had Mason got uh, the father and Mason got into it because Mason had made that balloon earlier. Which he shouldn't have done that. Mason hasn't drank in a long time after that situation when he had to reap that little girl's father. Um, but later that day, he felt horrible about everything and started to, to drink again. When the people had died at the farmer's market, a flower floated down and George had caught it. It was most... It, the flower showed up in most of the episode. Uh, George took it with her to her grave and left it there. She felt like the flower was given to herself. It shows, this show is so good. It has so much heart. It really does. George went, went to go visit Rube at his house. She wanted to know if she was the one who he wrote her name down when it came to her time to die. At first, Rube wouldn't answer. George was about to leave, and Rube said yes. George's parents are putting the house up for sale. George was riding by and saw it. George's mom and dad owned the house half and half. So so the mother owns half, and he owns the other half, of course. Um, and since George, George had left, the house is being put up for sale. Um, they're under too much stress because George is dead now and all that and everything else is going on. Reggie was was wanting to know why that they can't keep the house and stay together. George's mom said because of the half and half situation. And can't you buy dad's half? Asked Reggie. I can't afford it, said her mom. George's bike gets stolen, and she goes to the police station to file a report. Uh, George reaped a guy who was trying to sell uh, cooking supplies, and she took her and she took some keys that bl that belonged to the to the guy. And so, uh, let's see, Are the. The guy had some keys, and George was able to take the keys from him, and so now George has a Mustang. Um, so, let's see. George has... When, when George was 10, and she went to a public swimming pool lessons, and she saw two grave lengths for the first time when she was 10 years old, Two people jumped into the water and pulled George out um, because George had gotten pushed into the water by some mean kids and she saw the grave links underneath the water back when she was 10 years old. Um, her mom had took her to this place so she can learn how to swim and all that. George's parents are in the process of getting a divorce now going to meetings and getting everything in order. George's parents' house just got sold. No George's mom and Reggie now have now George's mom and Reggie have forty five days to find a new house. George has been in has been interviewing people at work since she's got a promotion now, so she has to do more things now. One of them was a guy he couldn't stop Farting one after another, George told him to leave and to leave the door uh, open. It was so messed up. George couldn't stay in the room. She left out immediately. George's mom and Reggie went into an apartment place to check it out. Reggie liked it. The guy that owned the place was there. And Reggie asked him if dogs are allowed. The guy said yes. He soon asked. What was the dog's name? Reggie said, J.D. What does J.D. stand for? Asked the guy. Just dog, said Reggie. George told Dolores about her last interview. 
The guy was farting left and right, said George. George said, IPS is natural. Then she said, most, most people don't know this, but Marilyn Monroe had IPS. So is that why her skirt blew up? Asked George. George, uh, that was messed up. George's, um, house has roof problems and will cost a lot. Uh, Reggie told her, told her mom that we shouldn't move so she can find, find us talking about George. George's mom's mom had showed up to look at the roof and maybe fix it. She told George's mom, did you really think I was just going to write you a check to fix the house without looking at it first? Because yeah, George's mom was going to get her mom to help out with the house and write a check for everything. Um, and George's mom, mom said, uh, I always told you this house is lousy. No, mom, said George's mom. That's what you always said about my marriage. Daisy went to a father, a, a priest, and she had confessed to him a, a week or so or two ago for stealing a cross necklace off of a dead body of a woman that she had raped. And, of course, she didn't tell him that. She had raped her. Okay, the father was drinking, and Daisy done something that she shouldn't have done. This happened a little bit later. She she took this dagger that was on the priest's uh, desk and stabbed her hand, and her hand had healed itself. The father had saw this, and Daisy told the father everything, but soon she touched him to reap him, and the father soon died. He, he drowned in holy water. In some kind of dish that was um, at the altar. And Daisy had been wearing this cross for a good while. And Daisy took the cross off of her neck. And dropped it into that holy water dish. George's next death, death appointment was at this golf place. And I think I'm going to wait to talk about that one next time. Alright, hopefully you have been enjoying these videos. I know I've been enjoying doing them, even though my notes are in a horrible mess. Um, I'm going to try to do part three later on this week. Um, try to get this all done. I have no idea how many parts this is going to be. This could easily be five or six parts. Because I'm going to do, after I get done with doing season two, I'm going to do the, the movie that they did. And the movie concludes the, the series, which is uh, Dead Like Me, Life After Death. And I'm going to be talking about that one also. Alright, thank you so much. Alright, bye.